Guys, welcome to the Wake End Update. We are. Woo -hoo! Yeah, welcome to the Wake End Update. What? Uh, I dropped a goofball. Yeah, here, I got you one, man. Got some sunscreen. I think it's. <coughs> Did you have to spray sunscreen oh, it's on empty. Sunscreen. Sorry, man. That's... Wow. Yeah. Ryan, you're really going all out here. I'm ready to go, man. I cannot feel my eyes. These goggles are way too small. Well, guys, hey, congrats it on hurts. finishing school. It is summertime. Now you guys don't have to go to school anymore. You can finally sit at home. Well, hey, as goofy as that was, Ryan, you are right about one thing. These guys have finished another year of school. Hey, give them a little that's congratulations. What I was, that's what I that. was thinking, was that you guys have finished another year, and, and that's definitely what I thought I was right about. So congratulations, you guys. You made it through a year of school. That's right. Congratulations is what you could say. No, don't say that. Don't say that. That's not, that's not your best. No, stop smiling. Some of you guys have even finished eighth grade. You have graduated from junior high going to high school. Others of you are taking one step further in your junior high career, going into seventh grade or eighth grade. That's exciting. You know, I actually grew the most when I finished eighth grade. Grew up to 5'3 for my freshman year of high school. Nice. Finishing something that takes a whole year to go through, like a year of school, or graduating from learning something is a big deal that is worth celebrating. With a lot of school subjects, there's really a limit to what you can learn. You can't learn more than 50 state capitals because there's only 50 states. You can't learn more than 45 presidents of the United States because there's only been 45. But what we want to encourage you with is there is no limit to God and there is no limit to your relationship with Jesus. That's right, guys. The Word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword. You can open the Bible every single morning and learn something new about who He is and how He loves us. What we want you to do is continue to press in. Don't ever graduate from growing with Jesus. Your relationship with Jesus is like when you're sitting at a restaurant where they have Mexican food. You remember mm. when we used to sit at restaurants? You know, I actually miss sitting at a table and eating some chips and queso with you, Sean. You're eating that queso and it's just like, oh. man, you are just shoveling it in your mouth. It would be as if that bowl never emptied. It is truly a bottomless queso bowl. Jesus equals queso. <laughs> that's all you need to know. And that's what we want this summer to look like for you. We want you to be able to look back on this summer and say, and I really pressed into my relationship with the Lord. I learned so many new things about who He is. And that's why we want to be able to start a new series where you can get a lot of your questions answered. And that's going to be called Asking for a Friend. That's right, we're starting a series where we are going to tackle the questions that you guys as former 6th, 7th, and 8th graders have. Uh, we're going to take questions that you guys have and, and answer them in a short and helpful way on the Weekend Update every single week. So right now, why don't you drop some of your questions in the comments below? We'll wait. And we really will wait. Yeah, no, I mean, you just, why don't you be quiet so they can focus? <sighs> you know, I heard it's supposed to rain a lot this weekend. Well, I actually am having a get together. I didn't I forgot to invite you though. So, and while you're there, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button? We don't want you to miss any of the content that Watermark Students puts out, and we'll wait for that too. While you're hanging I mean, out there on that you, YouTube page, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Smash so that, that like button. Can get some time with us. You know, Ryan, a lot of people are probably asking the question, "What's this summer gonna look like? What are we gonna do?" Your mom actually called me yesterday asking when she can see you. I don't know why she called me, but wait, what? Yeah, uh, Natalie is a sweetheart. Harper and Emily love her. <laughs> yeah. As you know, right now we are taking a break from small groups, but we don't want to stop connecting with you guys as students, and we want to help you stay connected to each other, to the leaders, and to us on the WAKE team. The biggest way we do that is through WAKE, but the problem is we're not gathering yet. And when we're not gathering here on a Saturday or a Sunday, we're also not having WAKE. But the WAKE team is working hard on two different things. First, figuring out when we can meet again here for WAKE, in a way that with full integrity, we can be respectful of the authorities above us, and also respectful and honorable of you guys. 
and your parents, your families, your friends, and the rest of the members of Watermark, as well as any guests that would come. We've got a ton of ideas and are working hard on the plans that are the most effective and the best ways to do that. And we'll let you guys know when that happens. In the meantime, an easy way for you and your parents to stay connected to our ministry is to text the word WAKE to 40585. We'll send out information uh, through that text and we promise we won't spam you. And you know what? Another way you can stay connected is by hitting that subscribe button right, right now. You've covered the subscribe button. But they could still hit it. Maybe they haven't. Hey. They, could, they could hit subscribe right now. Guys, that's all we have for today. Make sure you check back this page every Sunday for the latest edition of the Weekend Update. Until then, hag wow. And remember, cows can walk upstairs, but not down. What? That's true. It's, it's a real thing. I've seen it happen.